the 18, 21.3 and 21.4 um, equipment free, the home version. Okay, so what we're looking at for the first part, point three is 30 air squats, 30 V ups, 30 thrusters. Then we have a one minute built in rest. Then we have 30 air squats, 30 dips, and then 30 thrusters, another one minute built in rest. And then we have 30 air squats, 30 handstand push ups, and then 30 thrusters. So what we're um, looking for here um, is in your air squats, as always, hips down below the top of the knee for full depth. We stand tall, we squeeze the bum, we lock out our hips and we lock out our knees. Okay, those are the full standards all the way down, all the way back to the top again. I know you want to be moving fast, but make sure you're moving properly, right? Um, and your V-ups, what we're looking for here is shoulder blades and the hands touch the floor at the back as well as the feet on the floor at the start of the rep then we touch both hands to both feet and um, at the same time we're looking to touch anywhere below the ankle okay so ankle bone middle of your foot toes or whatever it needs to be um and then 30 thrusters so full depth squat we stand up tall big pop of the hips big punch with that barbell or your pvc pipe up over your head um and then <clears throat> what we're looking for and your, your dips is if you can get two boxes, two chairs, whatever it may be, it's a full body weight dip, okay? So we start with our feet up off of the floor, full arm extension. We then lower ourselves down to get the elbow higher than the shoulder at the bottom of the rep. And then we press back to full arm extension again without our feet touching the floor. Um, two chairs, two benches, make sure they're stable before we try them, okay? especially under fatigue and then 30 thrusters again after your next one minute rest we have the 30 air squats and then 30 handstand push-ups um so if you've been doing the handstand classes then perfect well done they've popped up let's get after them and um, you are allowed to kip okay so you've done heaps of thrusters by this point so make sure you're mimicking that same movement pattern okay we come down from the full arm extension at the top of the wall our head touches the mat, we've loaded the shoulders, okay, we're in that tripod position. We then fire the hips through as aggressively as we possibly can before we punch with the shoulders. Make sure we're squeezing those abs, squeezing those bum. Now, make sure um, you're using your hips as much as you possibly can, okay? If you've never done a strict hand, uh, handstand push-up, strict handstand push-up, whatever it may be, let's try and get after them for, um, for the first time, okay? Just be smart about it. Um, you do have 15 minutes to get the workout done, um, including those rest windows. So don't rush through. Um, now, what we're looking for in that handstand push-up box is the 24 by 36 inch taped lines, okay? It's just so we don't go crazy with the wide with the hands. All we're looking for is the straight arms um, at the top of the rep, feet against the wall, heels. Head touches the floor at the bottom. We then kip ourselves or press ourselves back to the top again, showing control, straight arms, heels on the wall. Um, and then... <clears throat> With our um, second part, so you've got 15 minutes for the first bit. Um, if you finish beforehand, that's cool. Even if we get time capped, that's cool. Then we have seven minutes that starts from wherever you finish. Okay, seven, uh, sorry, five minutes. That's the other one. Five minutes, five minutes. So let's say, for example, you finish the point three in 10 minutes. Your time cap then starts immediately um, until 15, okay? Um, or if you go all the way to 15 minutes, you get until 20. So gone are the days of finish really fast, bank more time for the second part. Everyone has the same amount of time for point four. Okay. So what you're looking for there is a five minute AMRAP of 20 pistol squats, your one legged squat, and then 20 alternating shoulder taps in a freestanding handstand. Okay. Now your pistol squat, warm these up. Make sure we're stretching off the hip flexors, getting nice and warm. Our legs are gonna be warm by the time we get there, but just get used to the movement pattern before we start the workout. Now what we're looking for is a full depth squat on one leg, okay? The, the heel that is not on the floor cannot touch the floor at any point throughout the rep. We then stand all the way tall, lock the hip out and the knee, and then we return that foot to the floor. You can hold on to that foot if you need to, that is fine. And then we alternate reps as we go. If you get a no rep on one side, we then have to repeat that side before we can um, uh, acquire the, the rep on the other the other leg, okay? Now our freestanding um, shoulder taps. Not as scary as they sound, okay? A lot of people are freaking out about these. Don't worry about it. All it states is that your hands are on the floor and your feet are off of the floor when you try and tap the opposite arm to the opposite hand to the opposite arm. Now it says anywhere above the elbow, so that can be bicep, shoulder, wherever it needs to be. Okay, but 
that's just with your feet off the floor. You don't have to be in a perfectly executed handstand to do that. Those can be single reps, okay? Single controlled reps, little donkey kick type versions, what may look like something that looks like kick yourself up, both feet off the floor, tap, come back down again. Doesn't even have to be as high as that. Come up, tap, back down onto the floor again. The rep counts as long as you can tap that opposite arm before any other part of your body touches the ground, okay? So for the first part, we're looking to be smooth, okay? Yes, you can rip through those thrusters and those air squats and those V-ups, but the hardest part is going to be those handstand push-ups. It's the same as the chest to bar or the bar muscle-up options. Um, the first two parts everyone can get through, um, or the majority of people can get through, and then that last part is where it's going to bottleneck, okay? We want to get there fast, but we want to get there with enough energy to, to move well through that last uh, round <clears throat> and then move into that five-minute AMRAP. So... Make sure you're moving smooth, you're moving consistently, moving well. Practice all of the movements beforehand. Read upon the standards, read upon the, the flow of the workout, where you need to be, what you need to have, what the measurements are, and then get after it. Have some fun, guys. It's the last one. Let's go.